Hi guys, we're back with another creepy reaction video. This time it's to Sir Spook's channel. This one is called 11 Scary Videos to Keep You Awake All Night. Let's give it a watch and hopefully there's some good stuff. Pop by Sir Spook's channel if you haven't already and drop me a sub. The link is in the description. And if you wouldn't mind ringing the bell on my channel, subbing and getting alerts as to when new videos will be coming out. And if you want to discuss this, or any of the videos, please leave comments or come by my live stream we'll and have a chat and discuss things that you find interesting. Now let's get the cans on and give it a watch, shall we? Let's hope it's a good one. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks and today we'll take a look at 11 scary videos. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more scary content. Alright, with that said, let's begin. This first video comes to us from the popular YouTube channel Professor Cynical, a YouTuber who typically uploads videos of himself playing and reviewing different video games and consoles. However, there's one particular video on his channel that sticks out like a sore thumb. Uploaded in July of 2024, the video shows Cynical explaining that he believes his apartment may be haunted. As Cynical is explaining this to the audience, something incredibly strange happens directly behind him. Take a look and see for yourself. So just to show you guys that there's, oh for God's sake, literally nothing here. Sorry, my tripod getting caught and everything. Literally nothing here. Let's get the shit out of us there doing that to be honest. I think you do with cleaning up like. Oh this shit is crazy. Right. Strangely. The door handle can be seen moving all by itself. After this, Cynical proceeds to go to his kitchen and begins to film the surroundings to show that there's nothing in his apartment. A couple of minutes later in the video, he then asks any potential spirits in the house if they can make something move. Amazingly, it seems as though something listens. Watch this. Can you make something move? Again? Conveniently placed trikes. Can you make anything move? Okay. Then, about 30 seconds later. It came from off camera, so still cynical, as his name states. Something else happens that causes Cynical to once again pick up his camera and walk around his apartment just to prove that he's supposed to be completely home alone. Don't worry about that, that, that was my air freshener going off automatically. Eight minutes, bargain. Nah, mate, nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nope, 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 I am moving out. I don't know what this is, I don't care what this is. Nope, just showing you again, ladies and gentlemen, there is nobody else here. Nope, 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 nope. To this day, Cynical isn't sure what exactly is going on inside of his apartment but he definitely suspects there's something paranormal in nature happening. After watching this footage, I have to agree. Yeah, it is pretty creepy to be fair. Um, 
just seemed a lot of stuff happening off camera, but a bit convenient. And for a YouTuber, I think he's. I think he needs a new camera. I don't know if it was just out of focus on purpose or what when he was sat in the set A, but it seemed a bit crap to be honest. Um, yeah, let us know what you guys think on that one. Is it creepy? But I don't know. What do you guys make of it? A Reddit user known as Emergency Row 4953 uploaded the following eerie video to the popular ghost subreddit just about two weeks ago, and it has already sparked quite the discussion online. While metal detecting at an abandoned retirement village, the uploader entered a building to look around. Everything was seemingly going perfectly fine and well until this randomly happened. Suddenly, one of the doors nearby slammed shut for no apparent reason. This room was located inside a much larger building and there was no breeze or wind whatsoever. According to the uploader, the retirement home allegedly has a dark history of mistreatment of the elderly and the uploader says that the negative energy in the place was palpable. Unfortunately, we don't get to actually see the door closing all by itself because the camera pans the opposite way, but you can definitely hear it. Where did the other person come from? That's what I want to know. He just suddenly appeared. You can see that the door is more closed when the uploader films the door again. Some people in the comment section of this video believe that this is a 100% genuine video of some kind of paranormal entity closing a door inside of this spooky retirement home. Whereas others aren't entirely convinced. Mainly because we never actually see the door closing. What do you guys think? Do you think this Reddit user managed to record something creepy on camera, or was this all a big setup? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Yeah, it seemed... I don't know, it could be genuine, but... The way the camera spun round so quick and stuff, I don't know, just... There could be a cut there, or... And I don't know where the other person suddenly sprang up from either. Over on Reddit, a user known as Truth is Fiction YT posted video to his account that showcases what at first appears to be just a standard, uneventful video that was taken somewhere in the woods. However, as you're about to see in just a minute, this video is anything but ordinary. The footage you're watching is stabilized footage that was filmed in a forest. Take a good long look and see if you notice anything out of the ordinary. No. I wonder. Could you see anything out of the ordinary? Did you see it? At one point in the video, you can make out what appears to be some kind of a tall, hairy creature stalking its way through the forest. As a result of this, lots of people have speculated that this may indeed be the elusive Bigfoot. Of course, that's just one theory, and the video is entirely up to interpretation. Some in the comments think the entity is walking in a very human-like manner, whereas others are totally convinced that this Reddit user captured legitimate footage of Bigfoot's existence. What do you guys think? Be sure to leave your theories in the comments. Yeah, it's a bit of a tricky one to tell with a camera and the 
scaling and stuff how far away it actually is and stuff it does look to be quite far away but still rather large but um at first it looked like it picked something up above its shoulder it was carrying a person or a log or something i don't know but um yeah it's definitely food for thought that one like what do you guys make of that actually looks quite legit to be honest Obon the Alien subreddit, a user known as SpaceGuy1994, posted a frightening video that's guaranteed to give you the chills. The uploader describes the footage as the best close-up evidence of a present-day Nazca mummy. The video starts off with two men standing in a snowy hillside area somewhere in Russia. The two men are talking about something they think they saw, both of them astonished at the gruesome and fascinating discovery they made. Take a look. I'm assuming that's been blurred out for YouTube. So it's not too graphic to get banned or whatever. It is a bit weird. Like. Yeah, it looks It's a bit like them ones that were presented not that long ago, really. I think it was only a few months back. Um, where they supposedly done testing on it and scanned it and stuff like that, but I think that was found to be pretty much a hoax, wasn't it? I don't know, but this seems quite legit if it is just randomly there. Shame it's blurred out. It's clear that the two men came across something they most likely were not meant to see. As the camera gets closer and closer to the entity, it seems that there is a dead alien lying in the snow, all mangled apart. There's certainly something very off-putting about the footage that lots of people, myself included, can't quite seem to put their finger on. The entity might be worth exploring and trying to find the actual images. If anybody can get links, send them to the email, technofishliveaprotonmail.com in the snow definitely looks to be the corpse of an alien. But that can't be, right? Well, maybe it can. After all, our world never fails to amaze us. TikTok user Abel3E posted a video to his account back in September of 2020 which showcases security camera footage that was taken in his backyard in Westlaco, Texas. What initially appears to be a mundane piece of footage the camera filmed, quickly turns into something much more frightening. Be sure to take a good look at the area off to the right-hand corner yeah, of the like screen. Massive spider. See if you notice anything strange. Did you see it? A strange, ghostly apparition appears to move slowly before it eventually disappears into thin air, never to be seen again. It seems to a glitch a bit. A video that was posted by the uploader sometime later shows the exact location of the ghost sighting, only this time during the day. Is it just me or is there something unsettling about that shed-like building? Just Either way, great. let's just hope that if this homeowner did end up recording a ghost on his security camera, that he has since solved the problem and can now live in peace. Yeah, that one seemed to phase out a bit as when it was halfway past that rig, whatever it was, that looked a bit like a spider to me initially. Um, I don't know, it just seemed to like stop and we'll roll it back and.
when it gets to about here it just seems to like sort of stop and glitch a bit like that I don't know I don't know did you see it a strange when it gets to this point. apparition appears to move slowly before it eventually sort of like disappears into thin air never to be seen again a separate video that was posted by the uploader sometime later showed Creepy. But it looks like there was some sort of manipulation there, unfortunately. I could be wrong. There is no. The following video was posted to the UFO subreddit and showcases one of the most bizarre yet interesting videos that I've seen in quite a long time. In the video, we watch as the videographer is driving in his vehicle during a beautiful sunset. Out of nowhere though, this seemingly peaceful video is transformed into something creepy and mind-blowing. Out of nowhere, an extremely fast bolt of light seems to move across the sky, resembling that of a shooting star. However, some people on the internet are not entirely convinced this was simply a shooting star. Lots of people are suspecting that this is a rapidly fast UFO, and it doesn't seem like too far of a stretch. The uploader writes that the video was filmed in Redlands, California, and says that the video shows an object spotted overhead, heading directly into the blaze currently raging in Southern California. It's kind of amazing that somebody was even able to get such a clear shot of this thing, whatever it is, whatsoever. Whatever this is, UFO or not, it's pretty amazing and interesting at the same time. Time will only tell if we ever figure out what it is. It seems a bit of a random video to be taken at the time, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure what they were looking at. But um, it is intriguing, to be honest. It, it doesn't half move, whatever it is. We don't really see many UFO videos nowadays, to be honest. We get the odd one through, but they are still intriguing when you see them. I don't know what you guys make of it. The following piece of security camera footage was posted to YouTube by a man named David Rodriguez. The video was filmed in Mexico and shows a group of two to three guards walking around and looking for a woman. Throughout the course of the video, we can frequently hear the guards telling each other to go ahead. It turns out that the woman they're looking for is appearing to them much differently than what they anticipated. Well, that shadow, is that what we're looking at? I don't know what these guys are doing. Every single time one of the guards attempts to walk up to the woman in question, the guard manages to walk right through her without explanation, leaving many to suspect, naturally, that the woman may be a ghost. The guards are absolutely baffled at this, and understandably so. What would you do if you found yourself in the shoes of one of the guards? Let's just hope that this ghost woman finds peace in the afterlife. I thought it was painted on the bloody wall or something, or a shadow, it's hard to tell whether he's really, you think nowadays we'd have some better footage like, but if it is sort of away from the wall and they are walking through it, then that is quite bizarre to be honest. Mario Ramsey posted this next video to his TikTok account and sees him recording the inside of a seemingly burning abandoned hospital. The footage is quite scary and unsettling, 
so if you want to sleep tonight, you might want to think twice about watching any further. By translating the words on screen, it appears that Mario says that he noticed something very strange while he was at work. Mario says that he works at a hospital at night, and on the one side, there's an abandoned hospital. He claims it was about 3.30 in the morning when he looked out of his window and saw this. Take a look. The video seems to showcase somebody burning alive while in the building. Mario agrees that the entity inside seems to be a person. However, he also acknowledges that when he started recording the video, the entity disappeared without a trace. To this day, nobody is entirely sure as to what Mario captured. Let's just hope that nobody was seriously harmed here. To me, it doesn't look real. And it seemed to be bits were flashing and these ones were flashing at the same time. So I don't know if it's just a projection or I don't know. It just seems a bit weird. It was out to see the, the silhouette of the person there. But you can still sort of see an outline there even though it's tucked away. Weird. That was creepy, that one, man. A Reddit user posted an extremely bizarre video to the alien subreddit, which showcases footage filmed above the Pentagon building in Washington, D.C., from three different angles back in 2018. The first angle showcases somebody driving in their car late at night, simply trying to enjoy the drive when all of a sudden, they spot something truly bizarre in the sky. Watch this. It's one of them triangle ones, the Dorito. What's that sheep? Since aliens best sheep, I tell you. Yes, yes, I'm really sorry, but just because I must talk. There definitely seems to be some kind of a bizarre floating object hovering about the Pentagon building. A second angle shows the exact same incident, but perhaps a bit more in focus and clear this time around. This is a fucking alien invasion. That's mine. You see it? Where is it? You need the camera. What is this? I mean, what the f is that? Look yeah. back. Could just be lights on the clouds, like. I got you, baby. I see it. Slow down, man. Slow down. What? Turn on the radio. They should tell us something. Turn on the radio. Again, the object appears to be very mysterious and unexplainable. The third angle is just as cryptic. It is my battle. Yeah, see, it could just be light, but it seems odd the shape of it. It does seem to be standing up as opposed to flat, I don't know, it's weird. Black there as well. Honey, she's not in here.
To this day, nobody's entirely sure as to what exactly was spotted above the Pentagon building that night, but the most popular explanation is that it was a UFO. So, what do you guys think? It's mad how it sort of has the, the black side and the light side. Like, if it was lights, you wouldn't get the shadow on like that. That's crazy. Are you a skeptic or a believer? Be sure to let me know in the comments. That's mad. Let us know what you think. That's proper creepy. It's nice to have some UFO stuff in. Bigfoot and stuff for a change. I do like the ghost stuff though, but it's nice to have a a bit of a mix. I've always been into like everything really, but it's pretty cool to see after a while. A Reddit user named Federal Swim ninety four twenty three posted a creepy piece of home security camera footage to their account just a couple of days ago. They write that the footage came from their camera after they got a notification that motion was detected. Take a look and see the footage for yourself. Jordan. That's mad. It looks massive as well. That's... Strangely, a mysterious ghost-like entity can be seen moving around near the basketball hoop before disappearing just seconds later. The uploader is completely perplexed by the footage. Well, that's a regulation hoop, it's about 10 foot tall. Stating that they have no idea what it is, but says that it looks like a person, which certainly seems to be the case, albeit a ghostly one. The ghost in question also appears to be the exact same size as the basketball hoop. In other words, it's a massive ghost, if that's even what it is. Do you guys think that perhaps this ghostly apparition was simply trying to get a game of basketball in because it was bored? Or do you think there was something else going on here? Bored. Let me know your thoughts. That's about 10 foot tall if that's regulation. That's mental. There is, there is something there though. It's clear in the way it moves. It, it doesn't seem to be a, a camera glitch or anything like that. It does seem to trail across the full length. That's mad. Number one. JM Godinez posted a video to Reddit, which shows him and his cousin in the dining room, filmed on a security camera that's positioned in the main area of their house. All appears to be going perfectly fine for the first few seconds of the video. The uploader's cousin can be seen sitting down and simply going about her day, but things are just seconds away from taking a strange turn. It said Watch and see if you hair. notice it. Okay. There doesn't seem to be any legs or anything. At around the 4 to 5 second mark of the video, the uploader's cousin's hair seems to be moving all on its own. That's it's mad. almost like there's an unseen entity behind her that randomly decided to pull her hair. The cousin instantly feels something on her hair and proceeds to turn around, only to find that nobody's there. She definitely looks to be quite spooked afterward, and it's not hard to see why at all. This creepy video just goes to show you that sometimes we aren't safe from getting messed around by ghosts, even in the comfort of our own homes. Yeah, I say there could have been someone behind her, but you didn't seem to see any legs or anything under the table. Could have been a kid hiding, standing on the back of a chair or whatever, I don't know. But you'd like to think these things are legit. Let us know what you guys think. And that was 11 scary videos. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then... There you go, guys. Enjoyed that. Some good ones in there. Enjoy them. Thank you. Um, as I said, pop by the Spooks channel and drop me a sub. The link is in the description. And I'll keep an eye out for more videos coming through from them. Um, I tend to leave it a few weeks. So it's, it's a bit... 
weird because that's how we sometimes get overlaps with videos of the same clips and things because I tend to leave it a few weeks before I watch each channel and react to just to give the initial new videos that chance to get its traction and stuff like that but um yeah i really enjoyed that one there were some good clips in there let us know what you guys think in the comments or if you want to discuss it ring the bell on my channel and if you see us go live pop by and we can have a chat hopefully the audio and things are better this time around after the other day's effort when it all went a bit here why uh, it was partly my fault i was getting a bit stressed out with the dogs and forgot to change some filters and stuff um but hopefully everything's back to the way it should be and as i said we will be doing some sort of we will be doing live streams and i'm hoping to do some sort of horror vibe games like creepy games and the build up the halloween so we'll get them on the go in the next couple of weeks and hopefully see you then in the meantime thanks for watching guys and i shall see you soon enjoy